Hey, those popular scooters, you probably noticed it. They're back in downtown Waterloo right now after a successful first year just last summer. With that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW reporter Emily Moss. She's live in the city for us tonight where the city of Waterloo has held a safety event today to promote the launch. And Emily, let's talk about how they plan to make these scooters safer than the first year. Ron, that event just wrapped up just a couple minutes ago, and there are plenty of different ways that these scooter companies in the city are working hard to make this safer. Both companies and have worked with law enforcement in the city to discuss high traffic areas where riders could be unsafe, as well as promote helmet use. Bird Scooters exclusively gave Waterloo their 2022 model, which is focused on safety after wide acceptance of the rides last year. Hellbiz has been working hard to keep riders safer too, developing technology within the app to alert riders whether an area is safe to ride. Um, we really emphasized uh, like the helmets, um, our, our safety precautions. We do a lot more uh, geofencing, so just zoning off certain areas where if there's high pedestrian traffic, we want to make sure we're not, you know, just flying through on scooters in there. So we may knock our speed limits down. Last year, the scooters weren't released until June, but this year, the city worked with the scooter companies to get the launch ready for springtime. Of course, some rules are the same as last year. Wear a helmet, follow traffic laws. You must be 18 years or older and ride, and also just have fun. Live in Waterloo, Emily Moss, News 7K, WWL. Emily, thanks for the update tonight. Now, by the way, the two companies, Bird and Hellbiz, are the two companies providing the Waterloo scooters this year. Both are very similar, of course, but you can also check out the companies individually and just head to our website to do that on kwwl.com.